I asked today in the afternoon lunch time to the students who have just done their final year exams. Final year examination started today so fast. I asked them why did uh, Russia and Putin bombed Ukraine? Anybody has got an answer? And immediately from the hostel, one boy, Parshuram, yeah, Parshuram got up and said. Discussion. I said, what do you what, what a discussion? And he was telling in Rakham School we have discussion if uh, the Ukraine President Zelensky has discussed with Putin, then Putin couldn't have bombed because in Rakham School we taught the children when the questions come, you have to take the question in your hand like this, how you take the baby. And you have to look deep into the question and you and the question start uh, discussing something and then answer flows. If the moment you don't look into the question and you start looking like left and right, then what will happen? Bomb, score and <laughs> you will fail. Because all the children were sitting in the dining hall, maybe 200 or 300 were sitting in the dining hall. And today was a, a, a lavish meal with all the best things. And I told them, because after two years, we are, or three years, we are writing the examination. So let us start with a big meal, a festival meal. And none of them were looking into the plates. They were looking left and right. I said, look at every, every smallest meal, what is kept in the dish, which is kept on the plate. Look, feel, understand. Then there is enjoyment. We could have avoided wars if discussions happen in the families. Robert Andrews Milliken, born on 22nd Ma March 1868 in Illinois, in the United States of America, died on 19th of December 1953 in California, in the United States of America, was an American experimental physicist honored with the Nobel, Nobel Prize for Physics in. 1923 for the measurement of the elementary electric charge and for his work on the photoelectric effect. Robert Milliken said civilization consists in the multiplication and refinement of human wants. Multiplication is what India has taught the whole world through pranayama, through yoga. In our pranayama, inhale one. Retention 2, exhale, and retention 4, exhale 2. Means you will get 1 rupee, you work for 4 rupees. Inhale 1, retention, you have to retain it for 4 times, and then exhale 2. You work for 4 times, multiplication, 1 into 4, and once you get the 4, you give off. Two, immediately sharing is very important. Keeping stings. The strength of the body is whatever you can eat. If you are going to eat for 3,000 calories, you have to work hard for 3,000 calories or 4,000 calories. Yes. Then you can feel there is a skeletal muscle in the body. No fat at all. No disease can enter. Disease enters when there is excess, anything excess, yes. Even in the mind, anything excess you carry, it is diseased. Civilization consists in the multiplication and when you multiply one into four and then two, you give the very next day, you have to make sure that two what you got it into four, Four to the eight times you have to work. Eight times you have to work. That is the spirit and the power of the nature, what the nature has given to you, of which you have forgotten. And once you have forgotten, then what happens? In the unconscious state, you become a slave. In the unconscious state, you allow the foreign matter, a foreign matter to bomb your city. A foreign matter called a disease enters your body. Please try to understand that two into four is eight times you work hard. You have the power. You feel the door is locked. No doors are locked. And then immediately give four. Where if such situation is there, where there is poverty. The king declared after the death of his 
very favorite prime minister. She declared, I'm going to select the prime minister. Anybody can apply. And everybody applied and 30 people were selected. After engineers, doctors, scientists, astrologers, everybody was selected. They were all put into a, in a room. And the king said, you are given three days time. This is the door. And I'm locking the door and going. Whoever opens the door and comes out first will be the prime minister. Engineers, doctors, scientists, everybody got very angry. What has that, that got to do with our studies of the prime minister? But nevertheless, they smuggled a lot of papers, books. So they were all non-stop talking and discussing and studying. And one man was sitting on the side and he was praying and enjoying. And everybody said, you stupid. You're looking like a yogi. Why did you come here? You want to become the prime minister? Why are you sitting and uh, just enjoying? Can't you bring books and study? Nothing happened on the third day. The king enters and he said, Selected the prime minister, selected everybody, looked and they said, We are 30 people. Nobody has gone out. Who is the person who has gone out? And the king said, You count. They said, Counted 29. Where is the one person? They found the person who was singing the bhajan, the prayers. He was missing. And they said, Where is that person? And they found the person standing behind the king. King said, This person has been selected as this stupid man. What did he do? And the king asked the person, please, you explain it to them. And the person who was singing the bhajan, he said, I was singing the bhajan and I could find uh, Swami Rakumji was always telling, take the question into your hand, take the question into your hand, take your wife's face into your hand and then look into the face, look into the husband's face. How can Christian kiss, uh, kiss the question and answer flows of its own? Take the flower, take the plant, take the animals and just take it in your hand and the discussions happens of its own there won't be any war so i did the same thing i was looking every time i was looking and I was, uh, um, trying to take the door into my hand and one time i felt uh, the second day i felt the door is looking at me and calling me winking at me i just walked near to the door and i just pushed the door it was not locked <laughs> It is such that thing is locked. You are, you are thinking your power is locked. Just one giddiness and you rush up to the doctor. Giddiness is because your pipelines are blocked. Palpitation is possible. Pipelines are blocked. Give a rest. Cleanse your internal part by drinking water. Five glasses of water. Put two fingers. Blah, blah, blah. Clean it up. The Nambudri was the top-ranking caste or person who does the puja in most of the temples. This Nambudri went for a wedding and everybody knows this Nambudri is a big eater. He's got a very big stomach like the Zen master. And when the Nambudri was eating food, he told his friend, look friend, I'm up to my throat. Nothing can go anymore. I can't even breathe. The friend told the Nambudri, okay, please take two fingers and put it into your throat and warm it a bit. You feel very good. And the Nambudri said, two fingers into my throat. If I have space for two fingers, I will take two more bananas inside. Such is the people. The multiplication is there. You can go from two to eight to four, four to sixteen to eight. And the multiplication goes till your death. No work, no food. Civilization can be multiplied and refinement of human wants. In our Devanagali, in the Southern Agali, uh, we have to bring Germans to find out the ordinary rock, Germans to find out the ordinary rock. They were living in pain and suffering. Even one acre of land, there is no, nobody to buy for 50 rupees, 50 years back. And Germans came, they saw the rock, they cut the rock, the stone, they polished it, they polished it. And they are selling it as beautiful marble stones, granite stones, which is very, very expensive. Just refinement of human want. Everything what you got it, if you refine it up, you polish it up, you are the famous polish, you could have polished that stone. And this stone is yours. This body is a stone. And if you polish it up, who will, who will, which Putin will come to bomb Ukraine? Why, why when Putin bombs, you are still running around the world and begging with the begging power. When your people are dying, you couldn't stop the dying. And you are in a tip-top dress, 
jumping and dancing with uh, foreigners when your people have been bombed and they are suffering in three years like a monkey with a garland in the hand you destroyed your country robert anderson andrews this can happen in every house please watch it discussion what happened to ukraine shouldn't happen in your house please discuss it then nobody is big nobody is small just discussion just take it and give a kiss everybody love you robert andrews milliken said civilization consists in the multiplication refinement of human refinement refinement of human wants